Hello and welcome to highlights of the 2023 Rydale Grand Prix, part of the British Cycling National Road Series. The attacks flew almost as soon as the flag dropped and Guy Drabble of Ribble Recharge Race Team was the first to drive a small group clear. He took half a dozen riders away, but that move was short-lived. However, Zeb Kiffin, the series leader, was clearly feeling good and he surprised the bunch with a move of his own in the first 15 minutes of the race. The former Rydale Grand Prix winner, Alex Richardson, was absent due to illness, but it didn't dent St. Piran's firepower at the race. The current series leader, Zeb Kiffin, had won the previous round in Lancaster, and he'd made it clear before the race that he'd like to see the team perform strongly yet again. Kiffin went clear with Rob Scott and Damian Clayton from Embark Spirit BSS, quickly building up a gap of 30 seconds on the chasing bunch, led by Wales Racing Academy and Callus Motip. Such an early attack from the national series leader had clearly forced the other teams to respond. Unfortunately for Rob Scott, he suffered a mechanical issue coming into the Abbey grounds after 25 kilometers, meaning Clayton and Kiffin were forced to carry on alone. With Scott dropped from the front, the odds were against the leading duo, and while they didn't show any sign of slowing down, they were swept up before the end of the second lap as wheelbase cab tech Castelli drove the pace over one of the steep climbs that dominates the course. No one team was taking control at the front of the race, so attacks started to fly once more, and the next 15 minutes of racing saw a group of 13 riders form at the head of affairs. Clayton was present yet again, this time alongside Adam Lewis and Bradley Simmons of St. Piran. In a reversal of fortune, Wheelbase had found itself on the right side of the split and quickly set about driving the lead group away from the series leader. Meanwhile, back in the bunch, the St. Piran trio of Zeb Kiffin, Finn Crockett and Harry Birchall had broken clear alongside Conor McGoldrick of Richardson's Trek Das and Ed Morgan of Wales Racing Academy, and they were closing in on the front group. Those two groups came together before the halfway mark, and as the leading riders hit the small circuits, Kiffin went clear once again with Birchill, Lewis and Ed Morgan. However, Morgan was unable to stick with the St. Piran trio, and he dropped back to a chasing group with 55 kilometers to go. The gap between the leading trio and the seven chasers continued to grow, stretching out to over three minutes with 30 kilometers left to race. With the win always secured, Kiffin, Lewis and Birchill could look to the finish. Unlike previous victories, this time they were given free reign to race for the win. An attack by Kiffin dropped Lewis on the descent into the grounds of Ampleforth Abbey with 16 kilometers to go, but Kiffin was unable to do the same with Birchill. The two riders attacked each other repeatedly over the next 10 kilometers, but it was to no avail. And instead, they rolled into the final kilometer together. With 200 meters to go, Birchall led out the sprint, kicking hard, and try as he might, Kiffin couldn't respond. This time, with 50 meters to go, he was dropped, and that gave Birchall plenty of time to sit up and enjoy the win. Behind, Adam Lewis held on for third, while Crockett and Simmons came in fourth and fifth respectively, rounding out an incredible day for St. Piran. Zeb Kiffin now leads Harry Birchall in the overall National Road Series standings. Thanks very much for joining us. If you want to support the British scene, please like this video and subscribe, and then leave a comment telling us what you'd like to see next.